Hey friends, Happy hope you're Holy Week. having a good start to the Holy Week. Uh, so this week we're going through different gospel characters in the Passion narrative. Tonight we're going to focus on Simon of Cyrene. Now his name has become just very well known in Christian history throughout the years. He's the one who helped Jesus carry the cross all through his journey up Calvary. Now Simon was one of many passerbys at the time and in Roman-occupied first-century Palestine, any of those passerbys would have seen what was going on and would have wanted nothing to do with it. You knew that the man or the men that were being called to carry the cross up a hill, they were criminals. They were condemned to death. And you didn't want to partake or be associated at all. And here Simon is. He gets pressed into service and he accepts. He says yes. He enters into this intimate encounter with Christ, helps him carry the cross up to Calvary. And I think that what we want to kind of talk a little bit about tonight is what does it mean to be a Simon of Cyrene today? To carry the cross with Christ today, the incredible act of love. So yes, there are many ways Can you um, that question? <laughs> in which we could be Simon of Cyrene today. Um, just like Travis was saying, Simon didn't really know Jesus that well. He wasn't one of his best friends, um, but he still was invited by Christ to um, enter into his um, to his cross, to help carry the cross of another person. And there's plenty of opportunities in which we can do that today, especially in light of everything going on. And yeah. as Travis and I were chatting a little bit about just what prevents us from doing that, what prevents us from really entering in to help our neighbor carry their cross. And um, as we thought about it, it seemed to be, uh, three main things that served as resistance to that. And the first one was fear, simply just being afraid to enter into someone else's world for many reasons. Um, but just fear does definitely paralyze us, um, prevent us to prevent us from loving for, um, just really giving of ourselves. The second one was laziness. Um, sloth is a huge vice that modern culture fights today, especially when things are so comfortable for us. It's hard to get up. It's hard to get ourselves to go. Um, and a lot of times the promptings of Christ, the little promptings of the Holy Spirit to, to do a little act of kindness or to step out of um, your comfort zone are quickly squashed by all the, all the, um, the, the little devil's advocates on our shoulders telling us why it's really not necessary or it's none of our business yeah. or whatever yeah. it is. So laziness is definitely a huge one. And then the final one was self-seeking. And this one was humbling for me too, as I, as I thought about it, because, um, I think the self-seeking is what prevents us from seeing outside, seeing the suffering that other people are, are experiencing, really noticing the crosses. It's like walking by Christ on his road to Calvary and not even noticing and just knowing you're on a mission to, yeah. you know, whatever you are on a mission to do. And, um, so those three things we found to be um, sources of resistance for really helping our, our neighbor carry their cross, really loving those around us, embracing um, each other. And um, yeah, we want to fight that. <laughs> Our prayer this week yeah. is that we can invite God's grace in to break down those barriers, break down those three things. It's definitely our prayer um, for us in our lives. And we are praying for that for you as well, that we can carry the cross with Christ this week. Yes.